what's going on everyone welcome back to the channel this is destination bowling my name is mike and today we are in central florida located in lehigh acres that's right and today we're getting ready to go inside of lehigh lanes now of course this is my first time at this bowling center i believe they do have a, a tournament going on right now so we're gonna wait for that to finish up I have seen this place a bunch of times on my social media feed and it seems that there's some legit bowling going on here. So we're going to go inside, see what they got to offer, hopefully get a couple games in. And before we do that, hit the like, hit the subscribe, hit the notifications. And uh, yeah, let's get to walking inside. So we are walking inside of Lehigh Lanes. And as soon as you walk in, they have their, their game room. Bunch of articles about their upcoming events. And they do have a pro shop. That guy looks familiar. So if you need anything done to your ball or you are looking for some new equipment, definitely check them out. Looks like they got a lot of stuff here. Here's a little bit more of their arcade. That's the door we came through. Got a little air hockey. And that basketball, I think I saw this one over at the, at the Gator place. There's a little game room sign. Let's walk over to the lanes. And there is a tournament going on, guys, so that's why there's a lot of equipment lying around. But here's a view. And here are the lanes, guys. There are 12 of them. And they do have a showcase here of some awards and some signatures of some pretty popular people that have come across this place. There's Park Bone, there's Kids, Walter Ray. That's pretty dope. And you could tell that this place is uh, very community oriented. Here's their front desk. And here's the prices for the bowling. So you guys can see that. I'll stay here for a few seconds. So this is where you would rent your shoes. It's like that's signed by somebody famous too. Yeah, Parker Bones is on there. 
and they do got a scratch tournament going on now. So we're going to wait for that to finish up. Some pretty big names here. One of the gentlemen was telling me that some guy just, some guy's bowling here actually just won the regional. So, as you can see, it's, uh, I got a ring toss on that the door. So they do have a wall over here for everybody that gets either a perfect game or an 800 series. We'll get a closer look at that once the tournament start comes to an end. And in case you didn't bring your equipment, like all of these guys did, they do have some balls that you can use. And here is their bar area. Nice little bar. Let's walk over here. I see some dolphin stuff. They got a dartboard here. That's really neat. I got some gambling stuff going on for the adults. We got a pool table here too. Uh, autographed jersey over here Jason Taylor haven't heard that name in a little while Diesel Baby got an autograph and they do have a cocktail list here there's a quick look at that oh woo woo ha <laughs> haven't heard that in a while that's pretty funny Nice little place, very cheers vibes. Everybody knows each other here. This is their patio area. It's like their smoking section. You can eat out here too, the food here is really good. Anybody knows where I could find a neon sign like this, please put it in the comments. I want one. So and here number I'm... five qualifier for the twelve fifty Tom Vasquez. So here on this wall, Tom they have a bunch John, of signatures. You guys two Mark balls per lane, lane seven and eight. I know Walter Ray Jr. A you know. Walter Ray Jr., pretty much a uh, bunch of guys who are on the PBA 50 tour. If you see any signatures John, here that John, I didn't name hey, or I'm recognize, good. by all means. Number six, final cash spot getting a free entry next month for the 1237 got an 800 Jordan series Frazier. <clears throat> and a lot of these are fairly recent. First, to not to cash. Ryan Williams. Really cool. I must With say, 13, this is 12, a feature that I think more alleys should have as far as recognizing, especially the regulars. That's cool. And that's actually one of the owners of this place. He's got a bunch of them up here. Nick Larson. I know that guy. I've heard of him at least. Really cool stuff. Really quick, everybody. Just want to do a quick carpet check. They got like a little shell pattern going on here, which I dig it. I dig it a lot. Really clean. Looks new. Really quick. I know this is a little odd, but in the restroom of the men's. They do have some lockers. So that's pretty neat. Wanted to show you guys that real quick. Alrighty everyone, so we are set up on lane one. Last game of the tournament's almost over. So as soon as that's done, we're gonna get a few games here. 
got three going on, so maybe I could put up some decent scores. Maybe end up on that wall. Who knows? Game one coming up. Alrighty, everybody. So we are set up here on lane one. Here's a better look at the the lanes from this angle. Check this out. Again, 12 lanes wide. And to get into the balls, here we got my Storm Phase 2. Been doing pretty well with this guy, using it in League. Next up is Old Faithful, Pitch Black, also Storm. And another Storm Ball, which has been doing well for me on the road, is my High Road Pearl. Highly recommend that ball as far as versatility goes in multiple venues. Let's see what we can do here. Game one. Let's see what we can get done. Alrighty everyone, well, end of game one, 225, not too shabby at all. I gotta say the conditions here are pretty perfect for me to be able to do that in the first game. I mean, if you've seen any of my other episodes, normally 200 is not pretty often, so I'm pretty happy with that. Hopefully we can put up some relatively good scores in the second game. <clears throat> so game two, coming up right now. Let's see how we do.
Alrighty everyone, well, end of game two, 139, at least we broke 100, but nowhere near game one. However, wonderful time here at Lehigh Lanes, I must say I have fallen in love with this place, I can't wait to come back. Alrighty everyone, well, we've stayed here a little while, but I'll tell you what, I met some wonderful people, some wonderful bowlers, a lot of them whose names are on that wall. Definitely looking forward to hopefully competing in a tournament at some point because I, I fell in love with this place. It's so cool. Nice, quaint, cheers style bowling alley. Everybody knows each other. And it's a little dark outside, but you can see the logo back there. And it's there earlier in the video. As always, everyone, hit that like, hit the subscribe hit the notifications, comment if you like. Let's get some comments going. If you have a bowling center in your hometown, put it in the comments. Maybe you could see me at your local bowling center. Maybe we can get a game, who knows? So everyone, until next time, as always, you gotta get up, you have to get out, and you gotta go bowling. Go bowling, people. Go bowling at places like this. Go bowling at your home center. I'm sure it's probably owned by a husband, wife, God knows, you know, family owned, all that. Support those small businesses, guys, because they need your help. Until the next destination, everyone, this is Destination Bowling, and I'm out of here.